Uh, frigid overnight, wind chills below zero, staying blustery through tomorrow. Temperatures gradually increasing throughout the next few days. We'll have more on that. Chance of showers also later in the week, mostly in the form of rain, if it's any consolation to you. As you can see, eastern end of Long Island getting the last bit of snow showers. This is overblown. This is our GFS model. The snow will really wind down and it is continuing to wind down the eastern end of Long Island. That shows it kind of hanging on a little longer. Don't think that's going to happen, though. So we are finally clearing out. The clouds will start to come through a little bit. Well, we will get some sunshine in the mix for tomorrow as well as Monday. And then as we head into midweek, increasing clouds will lead to some showers late Wednesday night into Thursday. So keep that in mind. That's when you will need the umbrella again. But temperatures, fortunately, will be mild, so we're not looking at much in the way of any snow. Not until on the backside of this next piece of area of low pressure coming through. Not until Friday on the backside of it. That is maybe a little bit of a wintry mix. Right now, though, temperatures in the upper teens, low 20s across the board. As you can see, there are 19 in the city. We have 18 in Islip. Some flakes still flying. Bridgeport as well. Eventually, those showers will come to an end so we won't be dealing with snow showers but we'll be dealing with dangerous dangerous wind chills as a matter of fact the slush that you see out there right now it'll turn crunchy that's how cold it's going to be bone chilling in fact we'll start to feel some relief winds gusting we won't see relief from the winds until Tomorrow, still a little blustery, but not as blustery. Taking a look at times of high tides, this is important. Why? Because we got coastal flooding to have to deal with. So this hour, as well as 9 o'clock hour in the City Island and the 6 o'clock hour in Montauk. And, of course, on Long Island, they'll be getting hammered. Gusty winds, icy conditions, coastal flooding. These are our impacts that we have to look forward to. Here's a look at our seven-day forecast, and that's where we're going to leave it. Temperatures Finally getting back to above freezing on Tuesday. Gradual warm-up thereafter. Finally getting into the 50s Thursday and Fridays. And then temperatures taking a sharp dive, sharp dive back down Friday night into Saturday, Kaidi.